Okay, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm gonna call it a day, it's done. If you're easily triggered by bad Maidly crafts, don't look at this, it's terrible. And uh, don't watch this video, just don't watch anything I do. Hey friends, welcome back to another video of my life in the van. The past week I've secluded myself in nature with a bunch of awesome people to hike an epic mountain peak. So we rose at 4am to what turned out to be one of the most spectacular sunrises after a night hike that I've ever experienced. After calming down from this transformative adventure and saying bye to my fellow travelers, I spent a few nights by the ocean and finally figured that after 5 months on the road, it was time for me to install some very much needed blinds. So yeah, enjoy this vlog of me trying to chaotically install my blinds. Hey friends! Welcome to another day in the van. Today I'm parked at the IKEA parking lot. I installed myself here because I'm building jalapeños blinds after four months on the road. I'm just using some rugs. I just look like a crazy rug lady. I bought, I think like 15 of these rugs. They're only three bucks. Such a small space, so much mess in no time. One of the things I don't like about van life, it's just, it gets, it gets messy really quickly. Have you ever seen this feature of my van? It kind of works like halfway, <laughs> but it does open when I press it, which is cool. Okay, so this is how it works. I tried this out before I bought all the other rugs. I have Velcro on, on the thing itself, on the rug itself, and I have Velcro up here. This Velcro I am going to attach with some screws just so it doesn't get off me when I'm trying to like put this up and down. Um, the idea is also for these to stay uh, like put on here permanently and just take them off whenever I need to wash them. That's the idea behind it. I am going to show you when this is done because I just feel like I'm bad at explaining. Um, so whenever I've done them, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And now friends, we get to the second part of van life, which I don't like, which is I need to clean up this entire mess to drive to my mom's house and get my sewing machine, um, which means every time I move, I need to pick up everything and clean up everything and it's so annoying because in a normal house I can just leave it to do later or like at night or something when I have more time and now I just need to need to do it now before I leave and I have to do it every single time I drive and I live and drive with my van like every day but uh yeah it's it's one of the things of van life so whatever I store stuff on the floor all the time when I drive that is another thing that I didn't think I would ever do but it's just too much effort to put everything away all the time and the rest of it just goes in my bathtub, which I've never used as a bath. My camera just kept sliding to the side. I'm not sure how I did that. I don't understand tech, guys. I don't understand. It does stuff when I don't want it, and it doesn't do stuff when I want it to. Ow. <laughs> well, let's go. I feel like I'm not really good at this filming with the phone thing. <laughs> I get some really weird angles. Maybe I should invest in a GoPro. I think a GoPro will be dope for my videos. Woo! Sunshine. The summer is coming. Adventures are coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why I'm screwing this in and sewing it onto this. It's been so long that I built on the van that I didn't know why it was making the noise, but I obviously had it in the wrong thing. If me and tech don't work, imagine me and tools. It's uh, a special situation. A question. Does it work? Ooh. Yes. I'm in a bad mood, guys. Every time I build something or I do something, it takes so much longer than I thought. My thread is empty, so I'm gonna use this one now, which is brown and not white anymore, but uh, it's gonna be okay, right? Also, this is looking so bad. If you're easily triggered by bad Maidly crafts, don't look at this, it's terrible, and uh, don't watch this video, just don't watch anything I do. I don't understand how, how, <laughs> how do I do things like this? Okay, I'm just gonna call it a day. 
I'm gonna call it a day, it's done. Uh, I'm gonna use this as an experiment and then I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow because uh, <laughs> obvious reasons, I think. Okay, friends, this was the point where I was low-key starting to lose my shit. I spent hours trying to make it work, and even though my machine had been working for the past months, I just couldn't get the Velcro sawn into the blinds as the machine kept getting stuck. In hindsight, maybe don't try to sew Velcro on that has glue on it, at least if you don't have a special needle for it. That mission turned out to be impossible, so I ended up stapling the Velcro on and somehow managed to finish my blinds. In order to keep the blinds up when they're folded, I just ended up passing a string between the two Velcros and ended up calling it a finished project. You can't see anything where the blinds are. Just for comparison, at the back, because I don't have blinds yet, this is what you usually see at night. I think I just got bitten by my first mosquito. Summer is coming. Okay, so since I still don't have blinds in the back, I was thinking of just throwing my pillows there like this because they are big enough to just cover the windows and I was going to do that because I didn't want to have any blinds in the back. I think it's working though. Voila. I really need to get <laughs> a pillow for this side, that size, because I, I need those pillows at some point. But um, it's cozy and it's cool and nobody can see it. I honestly think though I need to find another solution for um, tying the blinds up because it makes me nervous <laughs> to have so many cords hanging around. I don't know if I can make peace with this yet. Now that my project is done, I'm winding down and mentally preparing for my next travel adventure. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about as I have already started documenting my journey towards the West. But for now, I'll catch you in the next video.